Good morning everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. It is Saturday the 13th of April 2024 and today it is the last away game of the season. Well, at least hopefully just a regular part of it. And for it we're heading down to Berkshire. It is Maidenhead United versus Gateshead in the National League. So here in Maidenhead and uh, for once it is actually quite a nice day and uh, going into this afternoon's game Maidenhead are currently in 14th place in the National League table, uh, safe now where uh, Alan Devonshire's done Alan Devonshire things and uh, kept them in the division once again so uh, maybe they can uh, just maybe relax a little bit this afternoon uh, try and uh, play a bit of uh, free-flowing football which uh, could be something that maybe plays into our hands a little bit um, of course uh, we are coming down here it's not a dead rubber for us we've still got everything to go for and uh, we are still in sixth place following Thursday night's 2-0 loss at AFC Fylde and uh, the permutations are pretty simple today really um, if we win and uh, all the shot drop points then it's done in terms of getting in a, in a playoff spot um, even if all the shot draw when it could still like mathematically match our points total uh, they're not going to overturn our goal difference compared to theirs um, but uh, if we do win this game this afternoon um, we can uh, start celebrating too soon because uh, the older shot game is actually the late kickoff today so uh, there would be a couple of hours or so waiting game but uh, it's, we've kind of gone from one extreme to the other in terms of teams uh, in terms of our track record against teams that were playing obviously on Thursday night it was against Fylde who we have an absolutely dreadful record against um, to today playing against Maidenhead who uh, we actually have a pretty good record against so uh, it'll be interesting to see if uh, those kind of things um, do play a part today but then again I'm maybe expecting us to maybe be a little bit leggy after uh, two uh, pretty like long trips back to back this week and uh, the schedule's just only going to keep, keep getting more gruelling really um, it was announced after the game on Thursday night that uh, the um, the game against Chesterfield which was due to be on Tuesday has now been changed to Monday and uh, 
we will now face Aldershot on Wednesday, which I think came to a bit of a surprise of many people. And uh, that is a decision that was impacted by the league, not us. Um, I know Chesterfield aren't happy about it. We're not happy about it because we will have had a plan in place after Aldershot was called off for um, obviously this game today, then maiden heads, then Aldershot. Um, but that's all seemed to have gone maybe a little bit out of the window now, which uh, is frustrating. And I think it just shows um, that the National League, like, finishing the season so early as a 7 Thursday night has just totally come back to bite them and uh, they've put it down to changing the, the uh, Chesterfield game to Monday night is uh, down to maintaining sport and integrity well uh, how about this we didn't want it Chesterfield didn't want it especially their fans um, so like so how is that sport and integrity um, like the National League have got as a said on Thursday have just got to learn something from this season, they've got to use com- a bit more common sense themselves. Uh, the clubs have uh, obviously maybe got to have a look into like when they're communicating certain important information, etc. But uh, nevertheless, uh, we have just got to focus on state. It's our last away game of the season, and I've got to say that um, this season's away days have been more enjoyable than ever. I've got to say, and that includes obviously two years ago when uh, we went and won the league title which kind of tells you everything I think um, obviously there's been the highs there's been the lows as there always is with football um, but the people that obviously I've shared the away days with have probably made it worth it and it's been an absolute blast this season and I really hope that this can uh, see it being the last one at least of the regular season and obviously if you don't want to count Wembley for the FA Trophy final as well um, so this is obviously the last regular way day of the season. Can we end it on a high? Let's on down to York Road and find out how it all unfolds. So the team's warming up. Her maidenhead getting ready in the distance. I think they're going to be in their usual black and white this afternoon. And Gates that are going to just here going to be in the uh, blue away strip this afternoon. Uh, as much as the players are rotating, I think the kits are going to be rotating as well. Uh, otherwise, it would be um, a pretty hefty job for the kit men. Anyway, I'll see you when the players are coming out of the tunnel and ready to start the match.
Half time Maiden Head United nil, Gates said nil. It's been quite a dull game up to now, really, I'm not going to lie. I'd say Maiden Head have had the better of it in terms of possession and in terms of overall uh, like shots and chances created, but I think in terms of the calibre of chances there, uh, we've probably shaded it. Obviously, uh, Callum Whelan had one cleared off the line, uh, Marcus Devanga was on the line and uh, got in the way of one, so uh, yeah, there are a couple of good chances there, and but uh, I think. Um, yeah, I'm not going to lie, I think uh, the um, amount of uh, games that we've had recently uh, is starting to really catch up on us now, where one or two players do look a little bit leggy out there, I'm not going to lie, but uh, all in all, you know what, if it does end as a draw, that wouldn't be a disaster for us, um, I mean it does help at the minute that Halifax are 2-0 uh, down to Barnet, so if the scores were to stay, so as they are, would be uh, four points ahead of uh, Halifax. So, uh, irrespective of uh, what all the shot do tonight, it would still be like well and truly within our hands, and uh, could like wrap it up on Monday if that makes sense. But uh, like, let's just like get at them and uh, try and get a winner. Then, uh, yeah, to just like really cement our grip on on a spot. Come on!
Six minutes, Valley time, six minutes. Full time in, Hedge United 2, Gates of 1, uh, we did this one to ourselves today, um, I mean, I'm not being funny, but uh, whether we're like, playing a lot of fixtures or not, uh, fatigue, whatever, um, you just cannot switch off like that and uh, effectively just let the opposition run through and score, especially when you're in our situation in terms of the table, um, I'm absolutely fuming at that one to be honest, because um, it was Sunday league standards. Uh, decision making, Sunday league standard defending, uh, whether you think we should have been awarded a foul or not uh, you, you play to the whistle no matter what and uh, we totally switched off there and uh, yeah they have only got ourselves to blame for that one and uh, I think especially we've only got ourselves to blame for the sheer amount of control that we had on that game especially in the second half um, I think uh, we came out for the second half and it looked as though like we weren't we weren't even the ones that were having the fixture pile up uh, got awarded the penalty uh, Luke Annans uh, took it away and uh, from there they looked as a pretty dominant display but um, in fair play to the main head keeper he did have a very very good game there this afternoon but uh, we should have seen it out for at least a point and uh, obviously we're going back up the road now with with, with nothing and it's weird isn't it like our, our form away and our form at home have almost like turned on the heads um, in this in these last few weeks haven't they like uh, we've sort of struggled a little bit on the road whereas at home we're starting to pick up results and obviously now we're with that's it for away games this season um, our last three are all at home starting on Monday against Chesterfield who have obviously uh, won the league now and uh, like I've never known a team be as on the beach as them ever um, I'd be interested to see if they maybe opt to give uh, some younger players a chance but uh, we just look dead on our, dead on our feet now I'm not going to lie so uh, if I'm being brutally honest about it and I'd love to be proven wrong uh, like I think we probably will get in the playoffs because um, I, I, I just think uh, even if we don't win any of our last three games I just think um, uh, Halifax and uh, Aldershot have probably left themselves with like too much to do but uh, I really don't think we're going to win them I think um, it'll just be a case of uh, out in the elimin out in the eliminators I'm afraid to say because um, uh, we've just like totally ran out of steam and uh, I think it really showed there this afternoon and um, I think uh, like Again, um, I think the game maybe changed a bit. Like after all, we'd made all our substitutions. Uh, maybe uh, Denanger and Brown uh, both up top would have uh, maybe worked a little bit better. But uh, obviously, Rob's the manager; he makes the decisions. And uh, look, I'm not going to call for 
his head like not at all because overall he has done a fantastic job but uh, yeah just think yeah the last couple of games um, I think that tactically we've maybe got it a bit wrong I'm not gonna lie and uh, yeah but it's a it's a, it's a obviously a big win for me and I think that absolutely guarantees their survival and uh, we have been Alan Devonshire as it goes um, but yeah it's it really does sting and uh, it's going to hurt for the duration of this journey home but we have got to put it behind us as quickly as possible because uh, ultimately we've got another game on Monday which now we've just got to focus on um, but that is that for this video and I'll be back on Monday with that Gateshead versus Chesterfield game so until then take care, cheers for watching see you later